Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and I never thought we would get to the day where me reporting on Travis Kalanick would be the least controversial and uh, uncomfortable thing I'd report on. I, it really is. But I've got three videos to post today, two of which are about the horrible accident that claimed the woman's life a couple days ago, and somewhere in there, Travis Kalanick rose from the pho ashes like the phoenix, and um, he's a new CEO of something, so let's... Look at it. Um, according to this article from Recode, former Uber CEO Travis Kalanick has found his new job. Good for you. You're because your old company is about to put a lot of people out of jobs um, if this autonomous car thing ever picks up. So good for you that you sell a job, though. The controversial Silicon Alley Valley entrepreneur is joining a startup called City Storage Systems that focuses on repurposing distressed real estate assets like parking lots or abandoned strip malls and turn them into spaces suited for new industries such as food delivery or online retailer. I have to admit, I'm uh, a little surprised. That actually sounds like a good idea. The company was formerly called Cloud Kitchens and was, and was led by Diego Burdekin, according to a source, a Los Angeles-based entrepreneur and an early Uber investor. Oh, so if this was stocks, it'd be insider training. Kalanick will be the new CEO and is investing $150 million into the 15-person startup, a sum that will buy out most of the existing outside investors, the source said, including previous backers like prominent Silicon Valley venture capitalist Chamath Pal I am not going to even attempt to pronounce that name, whose social capital quietly led the company's most recent financing round. Social capital, capital declined to comment. Kalanick will now have a controlling interest in the holding company. Another involved investor and a co-founder of the company is Guy Dayton, according to a tweet from The Entrepreneur. Super excited to be working with Travis K and the team at City Storage Systems and Cloud Kitchens building a global network of tech-enabled real estate. Two of its businesses fo business focuses are on buying and repurposing real estate assets in the food and retail space, according to Kalanick. The company will work with parking and industrial assets and optimize them for new online-focused ventures. There are over 10 trillion of these real estate assets that will need to be repurposed for the digital era in the coming years, he wrote. The Los Angeles-based limited liability company, a company of the same name was incorporated yesterday in Delaware, according to state records, will acquire those assets and then outfit them for new re... Okay, so, I guess we don't need to go any further. Basically, he's buying property that's not being used and he's just going to resell them. Uh, he's probably going to be here selling them to um, companies for, for very specific use, but that's basically what's going on. So that's what Kalanick is doing these days. By the way, if you look down a little bit, uh, Dara K has congratulated him on the position. So, um, yep. And also earlier, Kalanick announced the launch of his personal investment fund called 10100. And, uh, yep. So I guess he's moving on from uber pretty nicely at this point um some people kind of asked me recently with everything that's going on do i want him back at uber and you know dara's bad but i still don't want kalanick back so but hey i guess good for him right i mean anyway we're just gonna leave it at that there, there's not a whole lot to say on this one just kalanick's got a new job and he's a ceo again let's see if his frat boy ways get leveled a little bit for this company. So anyway, uh, what do you folks think? Do you wish him the best of luck? Boy, that smug face, that smug, smug face. Anyway, what do you think of the situation? Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos I make, consider becoming a Patreon member, which is $1 a month. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.